Bob Kasango, a renowned city lawyer, arrived at Buganda Road Court to receive his sentence nearly two weeks after the High Court quashed his acquittal and convicted him of stealing 3.5 billion shillings from the Queen Mother of Toro based Kemisha. The man was from the sale of land six years ago to the Minister of Land at 4.5 billion shillings. Delivering the sentence, Chief Magistrate Jamson Karimani ordered Kasango to compensate the Queen Mother for failing to remit the money as her lawyer after selling land with 11 titles to the Minister of Lands. Court further ordered Kasango to pay Best Kemijisha a fine of 2 million shillings for the count of uttering false documents and 10 million shillings for the count of theft. Reacting to the ruling, the Queen Mother said that she was relieved that the case which had agonized her for a long time had been brought to a close. He called me names and uh, many things, but of course the, the law took its course. And uh, he's giving a bad example in Uganda as a lawyer who's supposed to collect money from the government, not pocket the money, just to collect. I wish I knew I could have gone to government and collected my money. However, her lawyer David Wandera believes the sentence should have been heavier, an issue contested by Kasango's lawyer, Arinaitwe Rajab. The mere fact that Bob converted, he transferred money from the farm account that received the money to his personal account and started spending the money as and when he wished. The custodial sentence would have deterred other lawyers from behaving in the same manner. Respect and accept the judgment of the High Court. We also respect and accept the sentence. The Directorate of Public Prosecution says it will study the sentence before considering whether to appeal with a view of seeking a heavier penalty. I mean, make it deterrent for a criminal or for a person to engage in the same kind of conduct again. Now, if a sentence is not deterrent, then at the end of the day, what message has, has been sent? Sango's lawyer paid the total of 12 million shillings fine as his client awaits any possible appeal process. So we disagree the decision of the High Court judge and we have appealed that decision in the Court of Appeal. Kasango was in February 2015 acquitted of the offence, but Kemijisha dissatisfied with the ruling, employed prosecution to appeal in the High Court. Justice Kabanda sent back Kasango's case file to Buganda Road Court for sentencing after overturning the decision of the lower court. If Bob Kasango doesn't pay the money, execution proceedings will commence and thus they will get an order from court in order to attach his property to recover the money. Or another option would be him going to Luzira to serve a sentence of six months, which the lawyers of the Queen Mother believe is unfair. After six months, then you'll be let free. And what the, the, the creditor has to do, the judgment creditor, is to look for your properties. We have done a search and we have not found any. Even the house in which he resides is not in his name. Bob Kasango has one month within which he should pay the 3.5 billion shillings. Sudil Yarhanga, NTV.